2021, more than 37,000 inmates were incarcerated in PA because of drug charges. So to address the issue, Pennsylvania established drug courts. Many of the districts looking now at alternatives uh, to prison time. OK, so one of these courts has celebrated another graduate, 27 of them, since the program started in 2017. But is that really a good number compared to the goal? Hallie Jacobs here now to find out the truth behind the graduation rates. That's right, Jaldeen Jasmine. Now, there are numerous of these uh, drug court treatment programs throughout the state. One of them is in Franklin County. Now, uh, when people are arrested on those drug charges, they may end up here, but some stay or some try to uh, stay out of places like this by choosing a different path. One of these treatment centers. But how well is it working? You have to put into it what you put into your addiction. The treatment court in Franklin County started in 2017 to help those with drug addictions conquer them and stop committing crimes. We felt that the traditional criminal justice system and the traditional sentencing alternatives available under the law were not sufficient. Possible applicants are screened by the district attorney looking at their risk assessment and current charges. If they otherwise have an addiction that's fueling their criminal behavior, they're considered for the program. Kyleen Leeper, the program's latest graduate, was already on probation when she received another charge. They offered me to come into the program because I had prior use, you know, I was a known drug user, I guess, a known addict. And it offered her a chance to serve her sentence in a different way. Instead of five years, I got sentenced to the Good Wolf Treatment Court, or I may have been upstate for four or five years for my charges. Over the six years the program's been running, 110 people have gone through it, but only 27 have graduated. And the reason why? It's meant to be hard. They see the court initially two times a month, which is far more than a, somebody on standard probation or otherwise on parole. And uh, we have a lot of stringent requirements regarding getting a job, uh, paying your fines, completing your community service. Fortunately, those that finish it usually end up staying clean. The goal of this program is to give people the tools to properly address that when it happens so that they're not committing new crimes. Some graduates have difficulty, but that's that's a life of recovery. That's to be expected. And they're already looking for ways to improve the program in the future. We're increasing the net that's being cast to try to draw in individuals who are in a veteran status, who have served in the United States military. We're, we're developing a specific veterans track for that. Kyleen says that only those who are truly determined to stay clean will make it through the program, but that's okay because everybody decides when to stay clean on their own time. But if you do end up failing, don't worry, she says, just try it again. For now, I'll send it back over to you, Jolde and Jasmine.